Hi. Hello. This is a hello. <laughs> okay, so today, today we're going to be cooking a curry soup. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> And we're going to be showing you all the things that we're going to use to cook this. Oh, yeah, they go to the roof over it. Oh, no, if they are the roof over it. Oh, good, yeah, they go to the roof over it. Oh, no, okay. So, my mom is from over it, married to a query. I'm about to over it. I'm about to over it. Okay, so we're going to be cooking this soup today. So, if this is something you're interested in, keep watching this video. All right. So, Ofo Owere is a special delicacy in Owere land. When you come to marry a wife from Owere, this is the soup they prepare for you. And this soup is one soup that <laughs> they say a poor man cannot eat it. Why? Because it's one soup that the, if you cook it, you finish it that same day. You want to enjoy the green nature of the vegetable mainly Ogo and Okazi. You know, when they land, we chew Okazi, we don't pound it. Like some natives, like a Korean people, they pound Okazi. This is Ogo. Now, we use yam as signal. We don't use Ofo or Ache. We use yam or Koko yam, whichever that is available. But we're a soup naturally. We don't use meat. We use only stock fish, um, dry fish, snail. But in this case, I added a little dried meat, not raw meat, not the fresh cow meat. You dry it. You can use that or any other. Maybe your bush meat, dry bush meat, and all that. So then we have our fresh pepper. We have onion, we have crayfish. Before we they cannot be complete without crayfish. Of course, palm oil and then your seasoning cube. We are using seasoning cube, but those days, during my grandmother's time, they don't use seasoning cube. They use ogiri to sweeten the soup. But you know nowadays, now technology. So that is it. We are going to start with boiling our yam which we are going to pound you know to use it to thicken the soup so let's start let's get down to business go forward i'm using this quantity no i'm not going to use all for the thickening of the soup usually we use pounded yam to serve the forward or any other soil but i intend using pounded yam to serve this that's why i have this quantity I'll just take a little to uh, sweet, uh, thicken the soup and then keep the remaining to swallow when I want to swallow it. Can I have some water? This is stock fish head. We usually use stock fish head. Though you can still use the body, but you know the, the head gives the soup one fantastic flavor. So we don't joke with a stuffed fish head and then the fish goes in. Everything has been washed. So fish goes in. The roasted meat goes in. Snail will not go in now to avoid it being overcooked. So we just put our, you know those uh, modern days women, they don't use um, onions. To cook over the soup, but it's optional if you want to add. But personally, I like onions in my soup, and that's why I'm adding it. It's 
Chanel. So this is okay. Then I go in with my salt. I go in with a little dry pepper. And my seasoning cube. So that is how we slice the ubu, the vegetable. You slice it tiny, tiny. You slice it big, very tiny. goes in and then we add a little water before we put it in. Let it be boiling, thickening of the soup. That I have one rub, one rub uji. That rub why you have five. Why 
a few minutes later. A few moments later, soup is getting thick. Hmm? Let's still allow it to thicken a little. A few moments later, add a little fresh pepper to give soup some nice flavor. Now I can see the consistency now of the soup. This is what I want to achieve. So what do I do? I will remove the excess yam. The excess yam that did not dissolve. I bring them out. I'm not really a fan of seasoning cube. So that first one I used in steaming my meat is okay with me because I would like my soup to have that natural taste of soup. Soup that uses dry fish, crayfish, stockfish, snail, meat should be tasty enough if you're a good cook. It's when you don't know how to cook. You see people adding uh, so many seasoning cubes and all that. I'm not a fan of that. We bought this okazi from the market, from women that are selling okazi in markets, and usually they slice it long, long and thin. This is not how poor the people eat the okazi. You pieces it, become smaller. Then you now put it so that you can still be chewing it when you're eating your your soup so that is what we want to do now just to re-slice it to make it smaller pieces we don't like it when it's long long you can see how long it is this is not how we do our cans it's not how we slice it a few moments later as the vegetable goes in, right? Because our soup is now okay, so I go in with Ogu first. The other is not going to cook. It will go in too. No. This is your cousin. It a good mix. Now, one thing with the soup, 
shouldn't be so thick. It has to have some kind of light texture so that you can still use your spoon if you want to. So the soup is ready.